given that the elementary teachers union gave at least 72 hours notice, ensured that uh, they it was one day and one day only of strike action, that we felt that that balance was reached and that kids would be in school the next day and the success of Ontario students would continue. It, it may not be so uh, calmly received if it goes on after the Christmas holidays. People Especially are prepared Toronto. to accept there's only kind of a week left and you know they'll sort of put up with that, but I have a feeling if this is going on in January, you may be in a tougher spot. Well, you know, we've been very clear, though, that it was given the 72 hours notice, given the one day and one day only strike action, uh, that we reached the determination that we would uh, allow that to take place. I've been very clear, though, that if the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario breaks its commitment to Ontario families and seeks to extend or seeks to have additional days of strike uh, or lack of notice, uh, that you know, is something that we, we could not allow to take place. And that's why we're really calling on ETFO to let the Ontario communities around the province know what their plan is so that communities can plan. I know that this is inconvenient for Ontario families. I know that it's a tough time of year, that people are busy and they need to plan. That's why we're asking ETFO to give their plan so that we can know what's going to take place.